And what's putting the strain on Ben's mind is, uh, well, having the only woman for 90 miles around here. Now, my proposal is that we get some more women for this town. Well, how, how you gonna get women to come up get here? Women up here. Order, order! Hey, I know where we can get some women. The six French boards arriving in Sonora a week after Saturday. Ben, you're right. So why don't we get them to come up here instead? How are you going to get six French bars to come up here? If I was a French bard, I'd go to Sonora. If you was a French bard, we wouldn't be having this trouble. All right, how are we going to get them to come up here? It's simple. they got to take the morning stage from Sacramento. they got to stop at Star Bottles Pass to change horses. So five or six of us to go down there, hijack that stage, and reroute them tarts back up here instead. Now what's so hard about that? Hey, that sounds just fine to me. When do we go? Ah! Is it your proposal, Mr. Rumson, that we knock out the stage driver, steal a coach, and kidnap six women? Sounds better every time I hear it. You fail to see what's wrong with this proposal? Well, what's wrong with it? Well, if you don't consider assault and battery, grand larceny and kidnapping wrong, what the hell do you consider wrong? Ben, these boys are right. Mr. Holbrook, I withdraw the proposal. What you got out of your skull? And you can't expect these men to build a big two-story building just to get women up here. Well, who said two stories? Well, somebody's got to run the faro tables on the ground floor, don't they? Well, Rotten Luck Willie will do that, you muttonhead. Now sit down. You can't expect Rotten Luck Willie to build a big fancy building with chandeliers and masterpieces of art over the bar and gambling and six beautiful tarts upstairs. I mean, criminy Ben, we'd have every bummer for miles around coming around here to spend his money on. Women and whiskey at, at Atwell's and Shermahorn's. You think that's bad? Oh, it's terrible! Just terrible! You turn this camp into a boom town, and we don't want to do that! Oh, pretty soon there'd be another saloon. Uh huh. And another body house. Another gambling house. And another body house. And another hotel. And another body house. What? Property would shoot straight up! These men will be making more money selling their old claims than they ever made from the gold. These men didn't come out here to forge a nation out of the wilderness? What do you think they are? That's right! That's for men with a big dream, with visions of America's greatness. Well, I'm warning you, if you want to turn this into a dreary, boomtown metropolis filled with nothing but millionaires, all you've got to do is put up one little tiny two-story cat house. I say let's put it to a vote. And any man opposed is a traitor to his country. All those in favor of bringing prostitution to this camp, say aye! <laughs> aye! Partner, there's a shifty side to you that I'm just beginning to appreciate.